Hello, welcome to second part of command line. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn these given commands. Remember, commands are case sensitive. So the first command I am going to use is mkdir. mkdir command is used for making directory. So I am giving directory name as Gotham and hit enter. You can see the new directory is created here. The second command is using cd i want to go and travel into this given directory as previously we studied that using pwd command we can get a complete path of this directory so i am into root desktop and go down again in this directory i am going to create some file using touch Okay, dot txt and using nano command I am going to edit okay dot txt write down something here and then press ctrl O for write hit enter and then ctrl X for exit Even you have another option to create or edit any file. So like as I am going to create okay one dot txt file using vi. Vi is another editor like nano. So enter into insert mode in vi. You have to enter the i button. So right now I am into insert mode. Write down anything here. Hello, this is VI. And for saving this writing text here, first we have to press ES in your keyboard and then colon write tweet and then hit enter. Do ls here and you can see in the Gotham comma Gotham directory we are having ok.txt and ok1.txt ok file. Now I am going to read those two files using cat command and hit enter. You can see in the first command this is written in second command. Hello, this is VI entered. So I'm going to remove the first ok.txt file. For this, you can use rm command. Remove ok.txt and hit enter. You can see this file is successfully removed. Let's check out. Do the ls here and only ok.txt exist. Here, before we have done ls and the board file was existing, after doing remove command, the only this file is exist. So that's how we can remove any file. Now, go back to folder, go back to desktop using cd dot dot. Right now I want desktop, do ls here, you will find Gotham folder. So I want to remove this folder. If you want to remove this folder, you have to do rm remove dir directory, remove directory Gotham. But whenever you will hit enter, this will give a error message because this directory is not empty. Directory is not empty. 
this rmdi command is used to remove the empty directory but using this command we can remove directory which is containing some data also so first of all know about this command rmdir using man and check out about it press q to quit again i am doing ls here and use rm hyphen r and gotham to remove this folder you can see this folder is gone again i'm i want to create one folder with name gotham for this i will use mkdir and gotham i want to move these two files first to lsr so we can go to know about which file on the desktop so hello.txt and hi.txt is on desktop so out i want to copy hello.txt and hi.txt to gotham folder so what exactly i have to do i have to use cp command cp is used for copy do main for manual copy so copy files and directory press q cp here you have to put the source file names use root desktop hello.txt and then destination root desktop then gotham this one is the source address of that file and this is the destination address where you want to copy this file click on hit enter go to cd gotham and check out that this file is copied or not yeah this hello.txt file is successfully copied in gotham directory again i want to copy hi.txt file so use press your upper arrow key and you can see this command is again pop up without entering much details so change here the file name hi.txt and hit enter now again check ls you can see hi.txt is also copied so i'm going to remove those files from gotham folder i will use rm file name and hi file name and then hit enter do ls again here no file is containing so previously we have copied our file using these options but i am giving you one of the shortcut copy files all files on desktop or any selected text file without entering their names suppose if you are having hundreds of files on your desktop and you want to copy those in one folder how you will do it i am going to show the way use cp source directory and here you have to start here this is called while card do txt and then the destination path right now this command is going to copy all these file containing on desktop this file must end with .txt and this copy these files into gotham folder hit enter and check the gotham you can see hello.txt and hi.txt is copied into our gotham folder
So go back to using CD on desktop and I want to remove those txt file using a single command. So rm command used for remove these files to star.txt. So all file ending with .txt will be removed or deleted. We hit enter, you can see this txt file are gone. Thank you for watching this tutorial. See you in the next lecture.